Welcome back everyone to my channel and today I am here with a new painting video for you. Let me make it clear that this is not a painting tutorial but a painting and storytelling video. So let's start off today and you can see on my canvas I have drawn this basic sketch of the Hindu god Ganesha. This is a painting by famous Indian painter M.F. Hussain that I am going to recreate today on this homemade canvas. And I am going to use the oil paints. So M.F. Hussain whose full name is Makbul Fida Hussain and an interesting thing is that my former name was Fida Hussain and I changed it when I was in 8th standard. So coming back to the painter, M.F. Hussain uh, was born on 17th of September 1915 in Bombay and he died on 9th of June 2011 in London. So he was uh, a painter and his style of painting was modified cubism and cubism has been influencing me personally a lot. I have been recreating Picasso and other cubist painters way too much. And here I would like to tell you one more thing that I am going to release a series of 10 cubist paintings on Kashmir very soon. So you should stay tuned to my channel and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Coming back to the painter again. M.F. Hussain was associated with Bombay Progressive Artist Group and he is also associated with Indian Modernism in 1940s. His paintings are considered as vibrantly colored and narrative paintings which are both caustic and funny or serious and somber. And there is a very wide range of themes that he has worked upon like uh, Mahatma Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Indian epics like Ramayana and Mahabharata and British Raj and motifs of Indian urban and rural life. And he was earlier interested in calligraphy when he was admitted by his parents in a madrasa which is an Islamic school and there he developed his interest in calligraphy and later he studied art in Sir JJ School of Art. Without further going into the details of his life let me tell you some important points. The later works of M.F. Hussain included nude paintings of Hindu gods and goddesses and also the nude portrayal of Bharat Mata because of which the right wing in India called for his arrest and several lawsuits were filed for hurting religious sentiments against him. M.F. Hussain lived in self-imposed exile from 2006 to 2011 until his death in London and he accepted the citizenship of Qatar in 2010. So these were some important points uh, concerning the life of the famous painter Makbul Fida Hussain or M.F. Hussain, whatever you want to call him. And now let's move to the painting. So this painting of the Hindu god Ganesha by Makbul Fida Hussain is such a beautiful painting that I have no words to express the beauty of it. Because when I was painting this, I was, um, I don't know in which state I was, it was completely mesmerizing. The choice of the colors of the painter is so, so amazing that I don't want to take my eyes off this painting. So Ganesha or Ganpati or uh, the other name, I don't know how to pronounce it. I guess it's uh, Vinayaka, is one of the gods in Hinduism and all the Hindu denominations worship him regardless of their affiliations. Uh, I guess in Hinduism there are people affiliated to different gods but Ganesha is worshipped regardless of any affiliation to any god or goddess. And uh, devotion to this god Ganesha is said to be extending to Jains and Buddhists as well. Some Jains and Buddhists also worship Ganesha. And these two communities are also, I guess, uh, studied under the common term Hinduism. Coming to the parents of Ganesha, the parents of Ganesha are Shiv and Parvati. Ganesha is worshipped uh, during two festivals. One is Diwali and the second is Ganesh Chaturthi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it uh, as it is because uh, it's kind of difficult for me to pronounce it. And concerning the birth of Ganesha, Puranas, which are kind of sacred books for Hindus, Puranas say that uh, the Shiva and Parvati discovered 
Ganesha and in some versions it is said that Shiv created Ganesha and in some other versions it is said that Parvati created Ganesha. So Ganesha is readily identified by his head uh, which is the head of an elephant and what is the story behind this elephant head let me tell you. So I read this story in one of the leading newspapers of India. I don't know the name of it. I don't remember the name of it. And the story goes like uh, the Parvati, the goddess Parvati was uh, once bathing and she didn't like anyone to disturb her while she was bathing. And one day while Shiva went out uh, because he had some things to do, Parvati went to bath and she applied something on her uh, body in order to clean it and uh, it was kind of scented paste that was uh, on her body and she just removed it and molded it into a baby and then the baby came into life and then she hugged the baby and the baby was very very beautiful and it was the same Ganesha but he wasn't having that elephant head till then. Then she praises the beauty of the baby and asks him to look after uh, the place where she was bathing and make sure that no one should enter there. Now the Shiva returns from whatever he went to do and he tries to enter. He tries to go to the Parvati. But this baby, that is Ganesha, he stops him. He... Uh, a kind of confronts him despite several warnings. He's not letting Shiva enter the place where the Parvati was bathing because uh, Ganesha was ordered by his mother not to let anyone enter there. And Shiva is completely filled with the rage by this confrontation. And then he removes his sword and slays the baby. He cuts his neck off. And the baby, that is Ganesha, he cries O oh, Ma, like O oh, Mother. He cries the name of his mother and he dies. Parvati becomes very, very angry with Shiva and she confronts him. But he promises to bring the baby back to the life. And then he orders his Ganas. Ganas are his faithful attendants. He asks them to go and bring the head of the first living creature they find. And when Ganas go to find the living creature, they found an elephant and they brought his head for Shiva. Shiva then uh, places the head of the baby elephant near the body of his boy, his son, and then they slowly start merging with each other and the boy comes to life. He opens his eyes and Shiva raised and embraces his son and says that you, my son, will be the leader of my Ganas and the world will know you as Ganpati. Shiva pronounces these words in a very, very loving voice and uh, Ganpati is also uh, considered by Hindus as a remover of obstacles and the one who brings the good luck. That's why all Hindus, regardless of the denominations, worship him. So he is supposed to be the carrier of good luck. So this was all about Ganesha and MF Hussain. And I hope that you like this story and you like the painting as well because the painting truly is mesmerizing. And the most uh, beautiful thing is the colors in the painting. The combination is so, so perfect that I told you I can't take my eyes off it. And uh, I haven't... Uh, gone deep into the details of the life of MF Hussain but I just uh, try to give you some important things that you should know about an artist and uh, you know I read one more thing that he sold his uh, painting for 2.5 million dollars not he but his painting was sold for 2.5 million dollars in a recent auction and he also apologized later on for the portraits of nude Hindu gods and goddesses. And this was all about the Ganesha as well. I tried to find the story and I could find only this much. And I think that's more than enough to know about him. And thank you for being with me. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, put down a comment and 
share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching